crispy. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of Figures in Action. Excuse my stuffiness, I am coming off a three-day cold where my nose would not stop running. But I caught it, and I'm back. Alright, y'all, so this is my last video of uh, the year. So this was just a quick little photo shoot that I wanted to set up. Uh, I had created this dial and, and put some uh, lights or, or made a vent on the floor there so that I could you know, light it from underneath. And I was just trying to catch that effect so I can catch that belt. So just took a quick little photo, <clears throat> but now I am going to break this down and kind of take out the props uh, in front of you guys and kind of see what it uh, what it looks like, and then I'll go through the breakdown of uh, of this dial. First and foremost, I am an ACBA artist. I am a uh, moderator for the ACBA group on Facebook. Truly love that group, and it's been something that's been part of my life for over five years. And so this is the essence of ACBA is kind of setting up these type of shots where you're recreating or creating this scene using uh, action figures and, and dials and backdrops and props and so forth. So anyway, uh, let's first take off some of these props. So for example, this palette here was actually created by my homie Henry Beltran who had some packs some time back and this was part of it. Uh, this was part of it as well. These newspapers are from the homie uh, Steven fernandez and uh he goes by i always forget his damn ig name i do this all the time but uh he uh snez he goes by the the graffiti name of snez so steven snez fernandez he does uh these really cool props he does money uh you know money stacks and newspapers so this is kind of a cool little who is iron man so these are really you know uh, daredevil excuse me daredevil callers fisk so he does a lot of these cool little props on use some of his props as well this is a prop that i didn't put in there just because it kind of didn't fit but this is another really cool henry beltran prop and he's here on uh youtube so you can look him up henry beltran and uh he's on ig as well by the same name this is just a you know one of those art store ac more uh props for the doll houses these are some random bricks uh ashley had gotten some bricks from henry but these aren't it these are actually my own bricks all right so now that all the props are removed we get to see the dial in uh all its glory all right so i was approached by uh mdt who who goes by uh, my damn toys on instagram uh mostly does wrestling or i think does all wrestling uh i, I shouldn't say that because I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen his feed in a bit. But anyway, he hit me up and he had sent me a picture of of a, of a dial that I was actually created by. And I'm actually, this this is the second time I'm recording this video. One of the reasons I'm recording it uh, the, a second time is because I, I like recording these uh, in the, when it's nighttime so I don't get the sunlight from the outside especially for these type of dials so I did a video this morning I kind of wasn't happy with it I normally don't do that either because normally when I do a video that's just the video I do and that's you know that's that's what I'm going to use but in this case I did want to come back and redo it just to do it at night and also found out during the day who the person uh you know MDT has sent me a reference shot of another dial that someone created this is a, a royal rumble 2000 uh entrance this well i shouldn't say that this is where it originated there so there was a person by the name of mac underscore decals he's on instagram so if you go to instagram you check out mac underscore decals he originally created a, a dial very similar to this that he uh he got from you know that he got his inspiration from the royal rumble 2000 uh, i believe i believe uh set so uh mdt hit me up and we've worked together before and he was like yo uh, i want to get a dial similar to this uh put your twist on it it's really difficult to like I, I you couldn't do much in terms of the structure of it itself but what i could do is add some different things that that one didn't have so for example that dial had the the road that led all the way to the 
to the back door and also just had the the white line which is kind of a white little space white little space so i did the double kind of highway lines also added that vent at the bottom so there we can you know put some light from underneath you have that opportunity added a light uh above those doors put on a or actually joanne put on this chain and, and lock for me she did me that favor uh of hooking that up after i dremeled those holes out and uh yeah and so he wanted some graffiti on it so i put a uh, mdt uh again my damn toys just on in, in kind of graffiti dead letters as we call them in the graffiti world and then i uh did my own throw up i'm a graffiti artist of 20 plus years so i was trying to throw in a little bit of a of a day's piece in there a throw up or, or, or so forth and so on uh real quick uh, let, let me turn these lights off just so that they don't kind of run out the last time i posted a video or the last video i put uh, my homie sk file hit me up or left a comment how he felt it's a great idea to take some metal tape and put these signs on the metal tape and uh to give him more of a, of a realistic look and it was a great suggestion so i actually went let me see if i can reach my metal table over here let's back up a little bit here so this is what it looks like and, and i'm actually going to put this on on instagram as well or excuse me on on facebook on the diastrusher group just metal tape and, and so it has a sticky side to it so you cut out you know your your uh whatever sign you're going to use and uh, let me just take this piece so we're not seeing the side of it and this magnet test so it's all good so you're able to kind of bend the corners a little bit because you have that metal and that was an ingenious um sk file was an amazing uh artist and he f he he sees things that no one else sees bro he's a superhero <laughs> so he sees certain things that you're like oh man you know a lot of dial making is using your imagination a lot of it is kind of looking at something and say well how can i recreate this in a 112 scale for me in particular because that's mostly what i work out of so it's really cool when you get these tips from people who so you don't have to reinvent the wheel so all all these years i've just been gluing these on there and that's it but now to have that added bonus of being able to bend the the, the tips and because you, you'll get the shiny silver on the other side that's dope dude that's a great tip and i really appreciate it and that's what community is man community is about just kind of uh helping each other out and giving each other some tips and that gives it a really cool look to to have that sign you know you can dent it up i dented it up a little bit and, and it, it acts like a real sign would act uh so thank you very much for that tip and uh i definitely wanted to share that as well because sharing is caring so threw on a uh cope throw up and cope is a very famous graffiti artist from the bronx uh as well and uh let me see what materials do we use so installation foam board as we normally do uh these are uh basswood but it's kind of the long it's the skinny stick same same kind of a deal skinny st a skinny stick but it's uh they come in a foot or i believe a foot long or two foot long pieces at ac more so grab these up cut them up so that they can fit <clears throat> one of the things that i wanted to do with this dial is give it more option in terms of lighting so we have that light we have this light and then the other thing that we can do is we can light the back so that you get some light coming from kind of kind of see the t and if you light it up bright enough uh where you put a really bright led light it gives it a really you'll see it in the picture that i'll post at the end of the video it gives it a really cool uh cool effect so uh i was glad uh to be able to do that and also there's a space in between you can see it right there so you can do a little bit of, of lighting that can come from that area as well so you can kind of give it another dimension so you know again uh, my my thing is always give uh the person who's buying a dial who's commissioning a dial give them some options give them some some options of what they can do and and hopefully so they can keep it as fresh as possible so installation foam board already said that part uh this is uh skinny sticks uh as and then some of that the same material that i use for the doors and it's just hollow all the way through then we did the what else what else oh um the debris this is just some acid kleenex that i just dipped in in mod podge uh just some pieces of uh stick just to make it you know give it some debris uh, again a lot of times i leave this i don't over debris it because that is the reason that we can do that and then you can kind of add your own things and it gives a, a better look than if you had glued everything down a different look every time so that the bricks aren't looking exactly the same so if you keep it minimal in terms of what's permanent i think it gives you more options later on 
as you continue to take pictures of the dial when you give it some mileage so you can keep it a little bit fresh on some level <sighs> got these from uh these are the plastic plants you know like kind of fish tank plastic plants and i think that's it measurements are about 19 inches long 10 inches across and about 10 inches tall what i also did with this dial let me turn off this slide i completely forgot about this slide what i also did with this dial is um made it almost into kind of two pieces and the reason i have it up on this is so you can kind of light the bottom so when you see this video mdt you have an idea of how you can do this you can just kind of you know throw one of these lights even that one if you're not going to use you can just kind of throw it underneath and then light it and then <clears throat> you know it again the 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 you'd have you'd need all the pieces that you're going to put this on will have to be even so that it evens out in the pictures uh but you can figure it out you just got to find stuff of the same height and so yeah so you get two different pieces so if you just wanted to use this piece he can and he also has the ability to use this piece separately if you want to do that as well and it's all magnetized let's take it apart real quick because i am already past the 10 minute mark that's a lot for such a small boom boom magnetized there 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 bam broken down and i have a phone call i got a date to go to the movies and i'm out peace